welcome I'm going to show you how to work with a video that has multiple audio tracks in shortcut if you bring the video down there you get uh, the first audio I guess I'm testing uh, not testing but prove the audio I'm testing uh, not testing but the first track both. I'm going to detach the audio because if you work with several tracks of audio you are likely wanting to work separately with every one of the tracks I'm, and you have there the audio the waveform of the track and now you have to add the other tracks my video, my video in this case has three tracks, one with microphone and game audio, that's track one, track two is the mic input, track three is only the game sound, so you bring down to here to properties, sometimes it doesn't show, so you have, in, if that doesn't show anything, you double click, I'm testing, there. it doesn't click because it doesn't show anything because it was in here instead if I mean in in was applying the that properties to the clip here that I had chosen the one without sound. Now I mean the video track without the audio track. So your properties audio tab next then you go back to playlist down here you add an audio track and break it down to the audio since there's only one audio track and not a video track only the audio gets added and you see the the waveform is different because it's and the second channel which has the the voice on I'm it. testing not I double clicked it that had the second channel with only my voice so now hitting in properties we get the audio here and pick the other then again back to the playlist to bring that down but before we do that add audio track we have now a new audio track with the last with the last uh, track so if we mute those. I'm testing, not testing, but we have track number one. If we pick that, proving it's track two, only my voice. And if we pick it that, track three, which is only the game sound. In this case, it was a web page with free music, but I had chosen the wrong source with, with OBS. And now once you have done that, you work with the audio tracks you have, do whatever you want, export and that's it.